in our, in our country in a negative perspective, this is what our media is doing. Instead of showing what good things are in this country, they're showing them, okay, look, we are a country which is nothing good. We've got things that we should be ashamed of and we cannot go ahead. And please tell me this, how many channels are there which are promoting youngsters? If you look abroad, there's so many channels that are giving you opportunities to give in your documentaries. They're showing you programs which are imparting knowledge to you, scientific knowledge, knowledge about the world. They're giving you opportunities to come and show the world what talent you have got. But what is our media doing? Are they giving enough opportunities to youngsters? Apart from that, I guess every one of, of you would agree to this, that majorly on our programs, political programs, in which they're expressing their political thoughts, we see people fighting more rather than expressing what they believe in. Eventually, we end up having no conclusion. What is the point of having such programs? What are we getting from this media? Only a confused state of mind? Once again, there's so many channels which are which have been controlled by a certain company or a certain person. And they are actually promoting everything in their own way. They are giving the audience a way to think in this perspective that they're limiting our originality. They're telling us, OK, this is what is right and this is what is wrong. And they're making us what we call in Urdu, lakir ka fakir. This is what our media is doing. Thank you. We heard the opinion of Mahin about Alize's rebuttal. Alize, please go to the podium and tell us what you think about this. What channels are you watching again? Because, okay, fine, we're a developing country. I said it earlier as well. It takes time to sit in the way of sitting in the way. And it will have to be given time. If you sit in the way of sitting in the way of sitting in the way, you can't get anything in the world in the world. I'm sorry to say that. Secondly, the air blue crash. I do b in, uh, admit that that was insensitive, but that was basically a perspective change. Kare na, wo, they're, they're making you feel guilty. That our government's problems, ki wajah se, ye corruption, ki wajah se, ye galat parts, lagane ki wajah se, ye ho gaya ta ke log is cheez ko notice mein leon, ab ye nahi ho. And I'm kitne aise cases hain ke jo TV par aaya aur koi problem unhone batayi and then phir uske baad wahan pe team gayi and they solve that problem. Why don't you look at that? Thirdly, you said ke hamara media kya kar raha hai, hume kya dikha raha hai, kya nahi dikha raha hai. I'll tell you what they're doing. Is waqt flood relief ke liye sabse zyada jo kaam kar rahe hain wo hamare media channels kar rahe hain hamare government thank you debate kafi heated ho rahi hai humne inka point of view bhi suna inka bhi suna ab maheen aapne rebuttal karna hai alize ki baat ka please go to the podium then i would like to tell alize that i don't have cable at my place and i watch ptv or more precisely ATV, when the entire Pakistani nation is watching the cable, as we call it, or BBC or CNN. Secondly, even if you want to impart knowledge, or if, even if you want to tell uh, people that whatever has happened, if it's right or wrong, you don't have to repeat everything again and again. Why do you have to show things that would hurt the emotions or the feelings of the nation or it would make them feel bad there's no point of repeating one thing again and again okay you've made your point that's it why do you have to show the same thing twice thrice four times you are just annoying the nation you're just showing them okay, okay we are so insensitive that we don't care we have to show it again okay, okay so many people died they're feeling in this way and it's not about perspective you're asking a mother what she feels when her daughter has died what would she say to that okay i'm feeling very sad do you think she's going to give you that answer? मेरे ख्याल में इस शो का मुकाबला काफी सख्त रहा है दोनों लड़कियों के बीच में जो आर्गुमेंट हुई है वो काफी हीटेड रही है दोनों ने अपना पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू बताया है जजेस ने मेरे ख्याल में काफी ज्यादा टाइम लिया चूज करने के लिए सो विल गो स्ट्रेट टू देम एंड आस्क देम हु द विनर इज फॉर टूडे शो एंड वॉट द थॉट ऑफ द इंटायर आर्ग्यूमेंट Okay, well, today's winner uh, from the judges panel, uh, the st both girls did very well indeed. You had good, strong arguments. You had a lot of effort and effort to prepare your speeches. And we could see that there was a good thought process. It was very close. But uh, the winner has been declared to be Alize. Congratulations, Alize. 
Thank you very much, judges, uh, for your opinion, for being here, talking to these youngsters, giving them an opportunity to uh, say what they've wanted to say for a really long time, and they've gotten a chance on this platform to say it. Mubarak Ali is a bohat bohat. Aage hum semifinals me jayenge, finals me jayenge. I wish you all the luck. Thank you, Mahin. Thank you, guys. I know you didn't win, but don't leave the conversation. You should get the chance to talk. Thank you very much for watching Jawaan Ke Aadat Show. Azmeh Ali Shah and Jawaan Ke Aadat Show ke saath mein ek baar pher agle hafte aungi. Nye char contestants ke saath the judges will stay the same. Please don't go anywhere. Stay tuned because this is a very exciting show. We have young people. We have a panel of judges. And of course, I will be here as well. Thank you very much. Khuda Hafiz.